Okay, so I DVR AEW Dynamite. I don't watch it live on Wednesday nights. I watch it Thursday mornings. I just got done it now. And I, 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 I'm just at the point where I, I, I'm getting more and more why the ratings are falling, why, why people are getting turned off to this product, because it's just... They, they clearly have this obsession with WWE, and this is... And this 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 may not be the thing that's turn off some people, but to me, it's making me less interested in the product. This Adam Copeland segment to start off AEW Dynamite tonight, which even though it didn't directly address this person, was a clear response to that CM Punk interview on the MMA Hour show. Now, it's not like I'm going to sit here and say like, oh, nothing, everything Adam Copeland said was wrong or nothing that Adam that CM Punk said was right or anything like that. But my point is, is that this was not necessary. AEW and specific, well, you know, it's not AEW, it's Tony Khan. Okay. Tony Khan has such a, I don't know. Someone from WWE clearly lit a stick on fire and shoved it right up Tony's ass. And it's been burning ever since. And he is just beyond pissed about it. And can't shut up. Again, I know Adam didn't directly reference WWE. Well, he actually did mention WWF as a place. And he said, oh, no, don't boo that. Don't boo that. It's great that they exist too. And he tried to make this even hand response and saying, like, you know, wrestling is better with AEW here. We are where the best wrestling. All, like, I, I'm going to explain things here in terms of video games, okay? Okay, when I was a little boy, in my formative years, I loved video games. I still love them to this day. I don't play them as much, but I still love them. Okay, Sega Genesis and Nintendo, at the time it was NES that came out when Sega Genesis became a thing and then went into the Super Nintendo... There was this whole campaign with Sega Genesis saying Genesis does what Nintendo don't, and in commercials they would show shot, side by shot, side comparisons of games and stuff, and and try to dunk on Nintendo and make them look awful in comparison. Like you idiot, you're playing Nintendo, you're playing Super Nintendo, you dumbass. Come to Genesis, we're way better. And now here's the here here here's the other side of it. Nintendo, NES, and Super Nintendo, their commercials. Never mentioned Genesis. Never mentioned Sega. You know why they didn't, ha didn't have to? Because they were the kings. And when you're the king, you just sit on top of your throne and you look down on all the peasants and maybe you see a kingdom next door that's like, all right, there's a lot of happy peasants there too, but they ain't as big as this kingdom. They ain't even close. That's what Nintendo was. Obviously, it's not the same today. Sony's sitting there going, ha, 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 ha. I remember when you were a big thing. Now look at me. Anyway, um... When I was a kid, I'm like, you know, I, I got a Genesis. I like it, but I, I, I won't lie and say that, you know, me and my friends, we have a lot more fun playing Super Nintendo and NES. Like, you know, hey, Genesis is cool. It's got some nice games and stuff like that. Hey, it's got blood and Mortal Kombat. That's, that's, that's nice. But, hey, overall, Super Nintendo is better. You know? That's what AEW... AEW is the Sega Genesis of the wrestling industry. And again, they, they don't have to necessarily go as overtly obvious as the, the, the Genesis does what Nintendo campaign did. But having this stupid rah-rah speech... And maybe it's not stupid. Everything, everything Adam Copeland said was fine. It's great. I... I love having a second competitor in the wrestling industry, even though I don't consume anything that the WWE makes. I understand from a fundamental level how better that is. And to the, the one thing that I'll say out there to the AEW fanboys, if you're rooting against WWE, you aren't a fan of wrestling. Now, I've said before that I would giggle my ass off if WWE went out of business because I think it's just deserved. But at the end of the day, I want WWE to be successful if I'm a fan of AEW. Because any success in WWE creates a success in the wrestling culture, creates more fans of wrestling, which can inadvertently get more fans to AEW. Because if you're a fan of wrestling, even if it's a competitor... 
there's a better chance you're going to become a fan of AEW and invest in that product as well. It's just common sense. And that's the same thing I will say to all the WWE fanboys that go, oh, I hope AEW keeps losing viewers. I hope they just, I hope they go bottom up. I hope, I hope Triple H has to buy them up and make them a, 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 a thing to click on on the app. You stupid asses. Even Vince McMahon himself, the devil himself said he wishes that WCW was always still around, that they never went out of business. Do you know why? Because competition made him have a, a better product. You gotta be kidding yourselves if you don't think WWE hasn't gotten better over the past few years because of AEW's existence. It's not that they fear that AEW is gonna come and take them over. They got years and decades worth of work to even get there. Let's stop kidding ourselves for a second if you think it's anything less than that. WWE has such an insurmountable advantage in the industry. Such a long-term tenured presence. But that aside, WWE knows that they can't just continually keep losing people to the competitor that can pay people equally as well. The rates of pay guys and girls getting paid better compared to what they were three, four, five years ago is all because of AEW being in existence. So how could you not, how could you not want both entities to exist? I just don't want any sort of retribution AEW shit coming, coming out of AEW towards WWE like I saw tonight. It's not necessary. Prove it with your actions. As the old saying goes, talk is cheap. Become the better product. Don't tell me we're the best wrestle. Show me best wrestling. God. I, and, and that's the thing that pisses me off because the more and more I see this, this, this pissing contest stuff from Tony Khan, the less and less I'm going to be interested in, in AEW. Like I'm eventually just going to tune it out if it turns into this stupid pissing contest shit. Just sit there, shut up, do your shows, get the people happy. I'm sitting there and, and, and trust me, as, as much of an AEW fan as I am, I still see all the glaring flaws. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, you know, uh, all in, everything that could have, that happened between Jungle Boy and CM Punk could have been, couldn't have been averted because CM Punk is such a hothead, he would have flew off the hinge no matter what. No! Obviously, it's because Tony Khan, like CM Punk said, he's not a boss, he's just a nice guy. He's a nice guy with a passion for an industry that he wants to front, and he's fronting it. But what he should have done that night in England was grab Jungle Boy by his stupid hair the second he finished his match with Hook and said, are you kidding me with that stupid real glass line? Get the hell out of here for the rest of the show. Don't even look at CM Punk on the way out. Walk your ass out of the room and get out of here. That's what a boss would do. You got to know of all things CM Punk is a short fuse. Why would you not say anything to Jack Perry about that stupid broken glass line? That stupid real glass line. Shit, you think CM Punk was going to be pissed about that? I can't believe something happened because of that. Because you've got a weak ass pussy boss. And I will never understand how Tony Khan comes from the industry of professional sports where you know you have an owner and a GM. The GM and the coach that take care of the disciplinary issues that need to be taken care of. Why Why you can't just have something like that in this day and age in, in AEW? Why that can't just be the, oh shit, why haven't I done this yet? Yes, I will get a GM. I will give him car blush or her. I don't care. Make it a woman. Who cares? Give them car blanche to say, if you see something that needs discipline, you be the goddamn vice principal and get out in front of it before it gets haywire. And the stupid ranking system, if I could just vent on other dumb shit in this company, this stupid ass ranking system, can that just go away again and stay gone? Yeah, Mercedes Monet coming out last night, challenging the winner between Willow 
and and Julia Hart, and I'm like, what for the TBS title? What do you mean you got the winner of the TBS title? Isn't there a ranking system? Well, that's true. Mercedes Monet has beaten no one in the company yet. And she's calling a title. Boy, does that look stupid. <coughs> I yelled myself into a cough. Anyway, I, I, I'm trying to have my loyal loyalty in the wrestling industry be diverted to directly towards AEW but boy is it starting to wane with stupid shit on top of stupid shit just forget WWE exists <coughs> if you're insulted by CM Punk saying it's a company that's just about good matches and not about making money well I would disagree with that and saying that um you know, the past year, the, the average pay-per-view was, the pay-per-view buy rate was like 150,000 buys. That's, <coughs> they're obviously doing something right to appease people that are willing to put money into the product. Because if you look at the first year for AEW, if I can stick up for AEW for a second here in, in stuff that CM Punk said. If you look at the first year's worth of pay-per-views, they were getting, there's some pay-per-views getting like 40, 60-some thousand buys or I don't think they've dipped under 100,000 buys in the past seven or eight pay-per-views last I looked. But anyway, the bottom line is they're, they're more than doubling pay-per-view revenue and their audience is almost like cut in half. Uh, it seems like they're finding a way to make money and draw in people that are willing to invest money. But anyway, even if like the ratings and the butts and the seats don't translate as much as it did in the first formative year or two well maybe not the second year because that was a pandemic but um even that doesn't translate you know as across the line anyway i just want this company to just stay in their lane focus on their own shit i don't care if cm punk comes out at wrestlemania brings a sex doll with tony khan's head on it bends it over in the middle of the ring and takes it up the tailpipe i don't care if something like that happens i don't want to hear about it on aew I don't want to hear it vaguely referenced on AEW. And I, I mean, subtle shots have their place. You may, you, you you reference someone if they're like in the ring, if you, if you reference something about Edge's career in WWE, if you're in a feud with Edge, like, okay, I understand something like that. If Malachi Black was to do that. And oh, by the way, another dumb thing from last night, I'm watching that Adam Copeland uh, promo to open the show. And I'm just like, boy, I can't wait for Malachi Black to show up. And kick his teeth and at the end of this. He didn't show up. Great feud building. Anyway. All about good matches. Not telling stories. And you get to tell CM Punk he's wrong there. Anyway. Um, AEW. Again. Stay in your lane. Focus on your own product. And be the better product. Don't tell me you're the better product. Be the better product. Show it, prove it, do it. That is all.